Welcome back to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home for another straight razor shave. And uh, today we are going to be using some stuff we've used uh, often in our, uh, our videos uh, for our soap today because in the desert southwest we've gone from 80 degrees down to 40 degrees with wind and rain. And believe it or not, uh, up at the elevation I'm at, uh, we're at about 33,000 to 3,500 feet. We're at about 3,450. Uh, we're expecting some snow tomorrow, one to three inches, which... For some of you, that's laughable, but for us, that's basically huge. So it's in the 40s today, windy, blistery, and everything, and blustery, and everything else. So wanted to do a warm, uh, comforting soap today, and what we decided to do is Seaforth Spiced. Uh, this soap has got, believe it or not, it does have some citrus in it, which is mandarin, but then it's got carnation, anise, cinnamon, clove, benzoin, tonka, vanilla, so that makes it really nice and warm. Uh, for the aftershave tonic, we'll be using, uh, obviously, Seaforth Spiced. For the brush today, we will be using the Sorrentino Luca Brasi with a two-band silver tip. And then for the razor, um, is, uh, Eric did match some scales for me uh, in the Paduk and the purple wood. Um, a Klaus Tornblom uh, four eighths that matches the brush as well. This uh, has been stropped 30 and 60. And then for the EDT, we will be using one of my favorites, especially for a Sunday, uh, Penhaligon's Elixir. And then of course, all the talc, talc and alum that we normally do. Hope everybody's doing good. The, uh, lots of great stuff going on on the cadre right now. Um, if you follow uh, KJ at Spider, the Vez 2, uh, he had mentioned about our weight loss challenge, and he also mentioned about bingo, and he also mentioned uh, some of the other things that are starting to go on, including our one blade challenge, which will begin in February, and then also the 3017 of Williams, which we'll talk about a little bit later as well. Uh, the Seaforth soap is just basically a no-brainer to uh, to lather. I mean, it's super easy to lather. Uh, plenty of good lather that gets out of it. I do um, hydrate the puck a little bit before I uh, before I load, but it leaves just enough to do a nice little pre-shave as well. So as KJ had mentioned, we're doing our weight loss challenge. Thanks to him for getting us all motivated to do that. Um, some of us are on keto uh, following uh, intermittent fasting. And I'm happy to say that as of now, and I started on January 4th, that I am down just over 18 and a half pounds, close to 19. I haven't weighed in today. So I'm extremely happy about that. I also just came off a 50-hour uh, fast uh, because intermittent fasting, every once in a while you do a longer fast and uh, kind of jump starts you. So whether you're on the cadre or not, if you need to lose a few pounds and want to get healthy again, please uh, feel free to jump on board. Seaforth does it if you if you hydrate the puck. You don't need to really use a lot of extra water, although it'll take it. And if you want to get a little bit thinner, a little bit smoother, shinier lather. then adding the water is fantastic, but just beautifully thick and creamy. And this is a very, I never tried the original Seaforth. Um, 
but this has got a very unique uh, fragrance to it. It's spicy, but it is also citrusy, warm, uh, and really nice. Okay. I should also say that I've got uh, two and a half days of uh, growth. I'm kind of lazy as far as shaving the last couple of days. But we've been getting ready for a bunch of home improvement projects. But the Tornblom, any of the Tornbloms or the Swedish razors that are shoulderless, I just love. You do have to be a little bit more careful because they are little spitfires. They're much more affected by changes in pitch and yaw and angles because they are a lighter weight blade. And um, any small movements with your wrist can really affect it. And they can massacre you pretty good. That's why the fulcrum method that I mentioned in my straight razor tutorials is so very important for this type of razor and any razor for that matter. Great first pass, especially with as much growth as I had. Um, just mowed them down. We'll go ahead and strop. Uh, because of the heavier beard for this shave, we'll go ahead and strop as we do uh, 10 and 10. Also, as uh, KJ had mentioned, he's kind of coordinated that for the TSC, which we appreciate. And uh, we've got about 20, 23 members that are taking part in the challenge. And it's obviously a weight loss challenge because there's a contest and KJ has arranged some prizes from um, our artisan retailers at the TSC. And we certainly do, uh, Chris, Chad and I, the owners of the TSC, certainly do appreciate um, the vendors getting involved. Um, but uh, people are doing different types. Uh, some people are on keto. Uh, some people are on uh, paleo. Some people are just watching their carbs. Some people are, um, you know, just doing a lot more heavy exercise. So it's really nice because there's not one specific way that everybody's trying to attain their uh, health and fitness goals because we now have a forum 
within the uh, a sub forum that uh, specifically is for uh, health and wellness. So that's kind of nice as well. Another thing that should be mentioned about this torn bloom is it is definitely what I call a earlobe remover if you're not careful. I mean, I'm a firm believer when you're straight shaving, and really DE shaving for that matter, you need to have situational awareness of where the, t the tip and the tail of the blade are at all times. Because complacency can get you hurt. And not to say that a DE razor cannot hurt you, but not the type of injury that you can get from a straight. I think I mentioned this before, but there's some train of thought that says that most straight razor shavers only use like this much of the blade. I think that's bunk. And if they are concentrating on just that part of the blade and not the whole blade, then is there something wrong with the other part of the blade? You should be able to use the entire length. That's the whole idea behind having a blade that long as opposed to this long. This is one of the few soaps, because I have a sensitivity to clove and cinnamon, and this is one of the few soaps that does not affect me. Uh, one of my favorite soaps, La Pour Francais, um, by Henriette Vittoria, I love. It's just a wonderful scent. We're going to strop again. Uh, however, it has a tendency to light my face up. And I don't know if that's because of various uh, amounts of fragrance oil, the type, but this one has got clove and cinnamon and anise, and I have no problem with it. As you can see, I've kind of wet this a little bit more because my final pass, I always want to be very thin, but extremely slick. So some people have been asking about this. Um, I learned this little trick from Dr. Matt, and he is actually uh, here, a chiropractor here locally in uh, in Tucson. Uh, but he does a lot of uh, shaving and honing videos and stuff like that. And he had, uh, I guess his daughter had made these little square flannel things. Now he does it dry, I do it wet. But just to kind of, you know, keep 
the the stretch on the uh, on thing. I use it just to outline, but I just cut a piece of flannel shirt, and it does help. It really does. I don't know if you heard that or not, but we're having uh, 40 degree thunderstorms, which is odd. We don't normally get thunderstorms when it's this cold. And I do need to give shout outs to Dr. Matt as well. Is he uh, early on, he kind of turned me on to the uh, Transarc Cody method of honing. along with my honing mentor. And uh, that's all I do now. A codicule finished by a, either a trans arc or a black arc. And I found that I get a very effective edge. And a much softer less harsh edge in the beginning uh, which is nice Alrighty, good three pass shave, maybe just a tad bit of cleanup. Uh, this soap is slick enough that I could probably do it without, but why tempt fate and have Mr. Murphy show up? For those of you that may be getting a little bit more advanced and uh, want to try some of these cleanup techniques, just be real careful, especially if you're using one of these smaller blades. Uh, and you're going to try the flat blade technique. Just make sure you're moving before you touch down. Because I can tell you, just a skin touch with this uh, razor is enough to open you up.
Okay. As always, wonderful shaving with uh, the Tornblom and any of the Swedes. They're just wonderful. And it really just mowed down two and a half days worth of growth pretty, pretty easily. Just a slight tingle with the elm, nothing, nothing to really write home about. And the Seaforth does leave your face feel very uh, moisturized. I mean, you do basically assault your face every time you shave, but this one feels pretty good, not too sticky and everything else. And once again, we'll follow with the Seaforth aftershave toner in the same. And it's almost like a very thin milk. If you've used CBL's aftershave tonic, CBL's is a little bit thicker than this, but the consistency of the milk um, is much thinner in this one. Um, but just as nourishing, feels really, really good on the face. Takes a little bit longer to dry down than the, than the CBO, but uh, still very, very good. Uh, today we're gonna be using Borotalco uh, for the talc today. As it uh, won't mess with the nice spicy goodness. Now another uh, EDP that you could pair uh, this with is uh, Creed's Viking. That is a fantastic spicy scent, good for winter. And it does have a little bit of the uh, uh, citrus notes to it. So you could definitely use Creed, uh, Creed Viking. I just like Elixir because it's got that, it's got that really gothic church type scent with the incense and the frankincense and myrrh and everything else. So it's really nice. Just beautiful, and it's good for a Sunday. And that's it, folks. We certainly appreciate you joining us here for a sh another shave at Barbara Dave's Barber Shop at Home. Uh, I'm Barbara Dave, and uh, if you get a chance, come check us out at The Shaving Cadre at www.theshavingcadre.com. Thank you so much and have a blessed Sunday. Take care.